I just got back from a trip to Chicago, Illinois. It's a fabulous city known for its architecture, history, food, and music. It's famous for hot dogs, deep dish pizza, jazz and blues music, 1920s gangsters, and baseball, just to name a few things. But what I'd like to talk about in this video is how to pronounce both the city and state name. Let's start with the city name, Chicago. Did you know that the name of this city comes from a Native American word meaning wild stinking onion? I found this out on a tour of the city I took last week. Before European settlers came to the area, it was full of wild onion fields, hence the name. Now let me tell you how to pronounce Chicago correctly. There are two important things you need to remember. First, pronounce the CH as an SH. Shh. Shh. Chicago. And second, the primary stress of this word falls on the middle syllable. Chicago. Chicago. In addition, make sure that the first syllable is pronounced as a schwa or a short I sound. It should be sh, sh. Putting it all together, we have Chicago. Chicago. Now, how about that state name, Illinois? Did you know that the final S is silent? That's because the area was settled by French explorers and missionaries when Europeans first arrived. It was the name they gave to the Native Americans of the area. So the word retains its French spelling. That's why we don't pronounce the S. It's a French word now used in English. The most important things to remember when pronouncing Illinois correctly are to stress the last syllable and not pronounce the written S. Like this, Illinois, Illinois. So the last part, noi, should be loudest and longest. And don't forget to pronounce the I's in their short form as well. They should sound like I, I. So here goes, Illinois, Illinois. Now let's put it together, Chicago, Illinois. And that's all there is to it. I hope sometime that you get a chance to visit the Windy City. That is Chicago, Illinois. You'll be glad you did.